Hi, I'm Mayor David Black, and this is City Happening. Cold weather brings the need to stay warm. With that in mind, people need to be safe when finding heat sources. We have some tips for you. And don't miss a really fun event. It's the Daddy-Daughter Date Night sponsored by the City's Recreation Department. We have all of the details for you. And the Sarpy Chamber of Commerce sponsored a legislative coffee on January 18th. It gives all residents a chance to meet and talk with their state senators. We'll hear from one of them. Please enjoy City Happenings for the week of January 24th. Thanks, Mayor Black. When cold weather hits, some people do some strange things to keep warm. This can result in injury or death. Uh, we encourage people to use some common sense uh, in the wintertime regarding uh, heating issues in the house. Obviously, your grill is not made to uh, run inside your house. You're going to build up carbon monoxide and smoke in the house, uh, and, and that's not what it's intended for. It needs to be vented properly. Um, don't use your oven to warm your house. I've heard of that. People will start their oven, open the door, and let that heat the house. Um, pay attention to your extension cords with your space heaters. Make sure you buy a space heater that is, uh, if it tips past a certain angle, that heater will shut off. Make sure you have one of those space heaters. Uh, make sure your extension cord and your outlet are made to handle the load that that space heater is going to pull. A lot of people don't realize the amount of electricity that a space heater will use uh, when you plug it in and, uh, and it's pretty common and it happens every year that you will overload that extension cord, start a fire there, you'll overload the, uh, the outlet in the wall and start a fire there. Consult a company that does fireplace cleaning. Uh, there's numerous companies in the Omaha area uh, that clean those out. Have them clean regularly. Make sure there's no buildup. Make sure you're getting rid of your ashes disposed of properly. Uh, you don't put them in a plastic bucket in your garage or anything like that. Uh, my best uh, advice would be to put those ashes out in your garden area, something like that. Make sure you clean up that. Don't store your firewood too close to your fire inside your house. Um, fires will start that way. A spark will jump onto that really dry wood that you planned on burning. Well, now you've got uh, wood burning that's not in the fireplace. Uh, make sure you have the screen on your fireplace to keep those ashes in and to keep the kids away. It's time again for the Daddy-Daughter Date Night. This has become one of the city's most popular events. The way I pictured it was, you know, what your prom night was in high school, you know, four little girls and their dads, and you come there, just basically just eat dinner, dance, and have a good time for a couple hours. And uh, as far as the music goes, we uh, we know the DJ who comes every year, and uh, you know he, he's worked with, well with us in the past, and he kind of picks out the music. We do ask people if they request any music when they sign up. You know, if there's anything that they want, we'll send that on to the DJ. But they do a good job picking out music that's going to cater to the kids and cater to the adults, you know, to just get them out there and start dancing. The uh, 2011 Daddy-Daughter Date Night is on Thursday, February 10th from 6.15 to 8.30. And it's at Liberty Social Hall. Um, they met, Everybody must sign up by February 4th. Uh, the cost is uh, $20 per person. Um, and they can register online at papillion.org or they can call us here in the rec office at 597-2041. The Sarpy Chamber of Commerce sponsored a legislative coffee. Papio Vision got an exclusive with newly elected State Senator Jim Smith as this was the Senator's first TV interview since taking office. I think it's great. I think it's a chance to uh, connect with uh, 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 new constituents and, and new friends and also reconnect with people that I've met uh, while I was on the campaign trail. So I think this is absolutely uh, critical to keeping uh, our community informed as to what's going on in the legislature and, and frankly holding me accountable to make certain I'm reflecting what their concerns and their values are. We need to make certain we, we stay engaged on a regular basis with the elected officials to remind them of our concerns and our issues. So I think the people that show up to these uh, events, you know, God bless them, I think these are uh, the salt of the earth type of people that uh, want to have a role in their state government. When you walk around the halls of the legislature and you have people calling you senator, sometimes that can really do funny things to a person's ego or how they value themselves. And so I think that's going back to the uh, purpose of uh, uh, places like this, legislative coffees. It's important to make certain that we stay in contact with the people that put us in office uh, because, uh, again, I think sometimes people will get into a, a position of uh, power or government um, responsibility and they will uh, kind of be blinded by that power and they will begin to think, uh, frankly, that it's about them, about them, and it's not. It's about the people that they represent and serve. I'd like to invite you to our city council meetings. They're held the first and third Tuesday of each month. 
If you can't make it to the council meetings, you can watch the replays right here on Papio Vision Channel 18. The first showing of the new meeting is on the Thursday following meeting night. The meetings air Thursdays at 4 and 7 p.m., Fridays at 9 p.m., Saturdays at 1 and 7 p.m., and Mondays at 4 and 7 p.m. Now, for more about Papillion, go to www.papillion.org or just call the Mayor's Hotline at 827-1111. Thanks for watching.